Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and good night in from I hope I said that word right. Good night and good morning from Aldi Dennis in Turkey. Wow, my skin is acting up from three different flights that it took to get here. But anyways, we arrived here last night after taking about 30 hours to get here. It was a flight to Doha nine hours stop in Doha where we actually got to sleep in our old neighborhood where we used to live six or seven years ago um so that was the stopover another four hours to Istanbul three hours there and then another hour's flight to Oludenis we are staying at the beautiful Jade Boutique Hotel on Oludenis Beach we're only here for two days because they only had two days available um, but it's the most incredible space we're gonna be in Oludenis for six or seven days and i really wish we were staying here the entire time um but yeah tomorrow we have to move on to a hotel called flamingo residence i think or flamingo hotel which um it's also beautiful point is we are staying in oludenis in fetia for six seven days and we're really excited about it um i'm just here for the turquoise water i'm here to swim with turtles i'm here to see the blue lagoon and above all above all on this trip i really want to be purposeful with my time um i want to be more present while i'm here and i do want to relax but that doesn't mean i'm gonna not vlog there's so many things that i forget from certain trips and then when i watch my vlogs back i'm so happy because it's like a it's like a whole movie you know that's a really a really long intro but i can't wait to take you guys along with me for the next week Um, Abdul Malik and I basically spent today just lounging by the pool, reading books, and we took quite a few fun photos because you know the content, the gram, it's real. But basically, we're gonna go upstairs now to Jade Restaurant. So it's just a restaurant here at our hotel, and it has one of the highest recommendations for food here in Odu Dennis. Okay, oh yes, yes, stunt on them, stunt on them, oh yes. Oh yes, give us a give us a little hair flip there. Dennis and we just sat down for our breakfast it's gonna be our last breakfast at Jade Hotel and here's our coffee arriving I actually just want to show you guys this insane spread that they give us every single morning so you literally just order eggs and you get all of this extra stuff it's actually unreal and I'm expected to finish this but let me show you Jumongas. We are walking to the Blue Lagoon. Just side note, I feel like it's rude if I don't introduce my hat because clearly it needs its own fan club. This is by Crystal Birch. It's a beautiful woven visor. Anyways, we are on our way to the Blue Lagoon right now. It's about a, I think they said like a 400 meter walk to the, this way, like our hotel was back here. And um, we just, oh sorry. We just stopped by a shop now because we had to buy those like aqua socks because basically there are tons of pebbles here so if you ever make your way here and you also wonder to yourself do i like, need to buy some aqua shoes back home you don't no you don't because i have them oh. here that's my point because <laughs> they have loads of them here um and it's not expensive we also had to buy a beach bag this is the bag because smarty one and smarty two over here we packed 70 zillion outfits obviously we packed <laughs> all the equipment we own we packed snacks we packed everything on this trip and we didn't think to pack a beach bag for a seven day beach or trip. beach towels or beach towels 
<laughs> so we got towels from the hotel but then we had to buy beach bags and like most of the beach bags were like really fugly but then I found this one and it's got a little leopard over here and it's black on this side and that's the best we're gonna get right now I don't know if you guys know this but Abdul Malik over here is actually Bigfoot <laughs> He wears like a size 10, 11 shoe, right? <laughs> we went to go and um, we went to go and buy our like aqua socks shoes things, and the guy looks at his feet and goes, "Oh!" <laughs> because he's like, "Damn, I don't know." Damn son. I don't know if we could yeah, have shoes for you. But they did have, thankfully. And then homie obviously must always push the limits and he goes, Don't you have these in black? Almost like he has option. <laughs> <laughs> so we just got to the lagoon now. This is where you pay to go in. And the beach is like just over there. So this is the lagoon and we've got the beautiful mountains in the background. First impressions of this lagoon. Um, I thought it was going to be more turquoise, I'll be honest. Um, but the water is very like, calm, so I think this would be really great for your kids because it doesn't look deep. Um, I know the water is quite nice. And yeah, we also had to pay 45 lira to get umbrellas and sunbeds. Um, and we're right in front at least. So we left the Blue Lagoon and my current verdict is at first I was a bit like because uh, the sand that you have to put your stuff down on is a bit like weird like it looks like dirty sand so it's just like not appealing and I thought that the water would be a bit more like turquoisey blue but once we got in the water and you're surrounded by the mountains and it's so calm and the temperature is so perfect it was really amazing we had so much fun we spent like three hours there and then we came and checked into our new hotel so we're staying at flamingo residence now we're gonna be here for the next five nights I um, was a little bummed to see that it's quite far up the hill because so many of the places were booked out here we booked very last minute um, but then when we got here uh, our opinion completely changed because the setup really makes up for it because it is such a beautiful space we're staying in right now and then we are staying in one of the four suites that they have and these four suites are the only ones who have access to the most incredible pool that they've apparently just remodeled now and we share this with these kind people over here and over here and I don't know where the fourth suite is I think it's in there somewhere or maybe it's just three suites I don't know but like how gorgeous is this i'm sorry but i don't have kids so i'm at that point where i love to be in an adult only place um i don't want to have anyone flapping and faffing around me when i'm in the pool i do that i'm the kid and i want to be the only kid so that's just how i roll but yeah that's about it so i think we're just gonna chill here for tonight book some tours we finally decided on some of our tours and eat Hope we get it early nice this time around and that's about it. Look who's sleeping on my thing. Oh, okay. Okay. I just wanted to say hi. He came into my space. I didn't come into his space. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Look at my cute Bogan villa. I mean, ah. anyways, um, we are on our way to breakfast. Late as per usual. Um, I'm gonna try really hard not to eat bread today because it's been a party these last few days with the food. So these are some of the other hotel rooms over there and like some up there. And look at this amazing Bogan Villa as well. So gorgeous. And that's the other pool area, breakfast area. And this is the most beautiful man in the world. Boy, 
Oh girl, we don't know what you are. We have just boarded our boat. We're about to go on our private tour. Little speedboat action fellow. Anyways, we're super excited. In the meantime, this is the view from the main beach here in Ola Dennis. I have actually never been on a speedboat, so I'm a little bit nervous. Brother, I don't know why. Maybe shade on? <laughs> no? Oh, uh, you want the shade on? Um, no. Okay, nice. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you. My skin is yeah. going to fight yeah. with me later. But anyways, let's go. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Wow. My wife. My wife. <laughs> Everyone oh. thinks we're stumbling. Come home. <laughs> We just pulled up to Butterfly Valley. So we're gonna park off and swim here for a little bit. Coming up to the beach right now, look at this water. Yes, brother. So I'm about to swim here at Butterfly Valley. And this is the first thing all these Instagram models can show you about their little Euro vacation. Okay? Okay, they don't show you this. Because this is how we protect the lash extensions, okay? Second thing they don't show you is this. They don't show you they gotta wear these little pebble shoes because the beach looks like this. And you basically really hurt yourself if you don't wear them. There, mate, you're right. Give us a smile. Give us a smile, darling. Good morning, guys. I'll be your tour guide today. We are making our way to. Tash Beach and to Kash, which is a little Mediterranean coastal town about an hour and a half away. Um, actually, we are in a tour group with 15 other Russians, so they've made us sit in front because we're the only English speakers. So they're gonna give us in Russian, and then I think we have to be like, What does that mean? So, yeah, we're sitting in front today. I'm wearing another little crystal birch beauty today. How nice is this? straw hat I mean this texture reminds me of Natasha. oh they're calling Natasha um, this texture reminds me of ostrich leather which I think is real special sun is coming up are you ready to go we can take a ride we can take it so we just got to Patara Beach, it's on the way to Kash, or I think it is part of Kash. Um, this wasn't initially part of the agenda. Like it wasn't one of the things we bought this tour for. It wasn't listed on the agenda. And then they told us when we got here that they're coming to this beach as well. So we've decided that we're not gonna swim here because we don't want to be walking around the town of Kash with sand in our bums. So we found a little um like a cafe type place here on the beach and we are chilling here we're gonna have a little calamari snack a little bit of iced tea you can see that's where everyone else is being exciting and this is where we are and there's a cat because there's always a cat she's white with one blue eye one green eye and i've called her multiple times but she's not coming to me which makes me quite sad all my children She's just aging closer and closer and getting you know more you and more know, comfortable. <laughs> so we just got to Kash. The drive here was amazing. The views are just like out of this world. How much did we pay for this tour? 30 euros. 30 Each. pounds. 
30 pounds. They charge things in pounds here because there's so many Brits. Why not focusing on me? Always have this issue. I think it was 30 euros. Yeah, I think it was 30 euros. So it comes to about 500 rand per person. Um, but it's so worth it because the views were just stunning. We just saw places that we're not going to see in Oludenis. And we also made the the decision to sorry babe, we made the decision to not go to Antalya um, because we actually just wanted to like chill in Oludenis and do like simple things in walking distance, you know. So this is a nice way for us to still get to go out and see different parts, parts of the coast without having to commit and move around long distances. Oh, look at this linen shop. Oh, thanks, man. So we left Cash and we made our way to Kaputash Beach, which is one of the things I've been most excited to see and do. My cousins were here a couple of months ago and they kept raving about this beach. So we are finally here, but we have many, many, many stairs to make our way down to the beach. Is my sentence making sense? I don't know. But I'm really excited. Take a look at this view. Amazing dinner at our old hotel, Jade Hotel, and I'm having ice cream. Mm. How's yours? It's good. Is it like a vanilla? Mm. Okay, I'm gonna go now before I melt all over myself. Bye. Okay, I'm back. I have my goat's milk ice cream under control. Um, something I actually just wanted to show you guys is that when you come to Turkey, and it's a very no, <laughs> it's a very similar situation in Thailand as well because I always get this question. When you go to like the main touristy areas, like here in Oludenis, it's like the there's like a hub, like a road with bars and restaurants and shops. You'll know it when you see it. It's just where everything is. There are tons of tour desks. Yes, the same thing in Thailand. So the tour desks look like this. Say hello to my friends. Say hello. Hello, hello, everybody. Hello. You have gentlemen like these, and they're all over the place. They're like in every single road like here's another one and they all offer tours they've got brochures and that's literally where we book our trips from and you can bargain with them as well so if you book two or three trips they'll give you a discount the prices are in pounds and in euros because they have so many brits and other europeans that come here so yeah it's as simple as that we never plan in advance we just kind of look at the brochures we see how we feel like on each day and we go then Good afternoon everybody, it's our second last day here in Oludenis in Turkey and today we are going quad biking. So we bought these uh, dust protecting scarf things here at the um, ATV place. Um, which I'm quite happy about because it protects my skin as well. And yeah, so we're gonna do a so we're gonna do a practice round on the bikes now, just to make sure we get comfortable with the controls and everything. And then when everybody's like comfortable, we're gonna go on. We're gonna go off-roading. So we just got to the first viewpoint, and it's absolutely incredible. I actually cannot find Malik. He was here a second ago, and I think he's gone to set up his drone because we have 15 minutes here. But this view is just. How's it going? It's going. It's going. Oh! That's straight up. Thank you. 
Fussen. Can we talk to my friends? Life. I want to talk to my friends. Guys. Wow, nice weekend, eh? mm. Look at us. It's brown baby is white. So it's our last evening here in Olu Dennis. Today we just spent like chilling at our hotel, relaxing, swimming, wrapping up some admin before we fly out to Cappadocia tomorrow morning. So yeah, let's go to dinner. Are you excited? Wow, it looks so brown. I do. Look about me. Oh. <laughs> Babe, I found nice sneakers here for you. Island style. Look at this island look. If you must stand against this palm tree, I won't. I won't see you there. Eh? You'll just camouflage. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> oh wow. Oh wow. We're easy. So this is a pancake stuffed with meat and then this is like onion, tomato, pepper, hot chips and then this is yogurt to make it all go down well and tie it all together. But we need some mayo. Look at this one, he's downloading episodes for Netflix. Good morning guys, we just got to Dalaman Airport and we are about to catch a flight to Istanbul and thereafter connect to go to Cappadocia. So that brings us to the end of our Olu Dennis vlog. Thank you so much for watching, thank you so much for coming along with us. If you guys have any questions about the trip, please let me know in the comment section and I'll answer them and see what I can do for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in Cappadocia.